tengo hambre, pero no cocino. Gano un taco de un lugar. What's up, everybody? Tacuache Mike here with another taco review. And uh, this one's kind of... Uh, I, saw, I think you guys saw my intro about the, about the best taco review ever that didn't go off. So uh, this is a... This is just, I'm gonna do a review while going over that story, you know. But uh, this is from Kali's, Kali, K A L I. And they are a tortilla place. And they make flour tortillas there. I don't know, they have corn tortillas. I've only usually tried their flour tortillas, and they're good. And uh, they, uh, they have prepared tacos, so on. Sundays they had like three or four to choose from and I got two of three different kinds to try them out. So this one I believe is the frijoles with chorizo. You can see the orange right there. I can smell the chorizo. It smells good, you know, and I'm I'm hungry. I'm not gonna lie. That's what motivates me to go do these these hunger. This built-in hunger. I'm going for it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now these tacos aren't made to order like some of these other places, even a fast food type one. These I think they prepare ahead of time. And they roll them up and that's why they have the dots. And so, but I kind of like that because when you go to a place and you order tacos, you know people are just going to turn them in and out. You know, it's a different thing. And like the beans sit there a while and they get a different consistency, but I like it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Mm. It hits me afterwards. Um, that's a solid A right there. It hits me afterwards. It's like a just so when you know it's good ingredients you're using in here, I get like an endorphin rush. Yeah, man, that, that was a good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not gonna let that go to waste. You know what? Forget the intro that I made before, so I'll tell you the story now. About a year and a half ago, I was getting kind of hungry, and I woke up to go do a taco review. It's back when I used to do them in my Forerunner, you know. I was doing my location. I put the camera on the steering wheel, and that's how I do it. Now I have a lovely assistant. She's worked a little bit. I put her in charge of the uh, of the production, and she's she's making things a little nicer for me. You know, me, I just eat the taco, give you a review. She's like, hey, why don't you try this? She made the intro a little fancier. Did you notice that? That's all her. My producer, she's good. But uh, it was before she was producing them. So instead of having my lovely assistant, I had this little camera. This little camera, I won't mention any brand names, but it's not one of the big ones. It's like an off-brand on Amazon. Two letters. It's a two-letter name, okay? And I had the camera, and I recorded the, the video, and I was just funny. And I was on point, and it was like the best video I had ever done. And I remember leaving there. I was in the... I remember leaving there like, oh my God, this is going to be a great video. Like, uh, I was so happy. I figured my, my users would like triple just from that one video because of how funny it was. And then something happened. I came home and there was no audio. And I checked. I had made several videos. I had made footage of the conchas, you know, and there was no audio. And it was heartbreaking. I, I didn't do a review for several weeks afterwards, maybe even months. You guys are asking me, is everything okay? Are you still there? But hey, I'm back. I'm back and I'm, I'm talking about this is a tribute to the best taco review ever. You know, this isn't it. It's like that uh, song from Tenacious D. Oh, yeah, I'm stealing their idea. This looks ham and egg. I think she said this one was. Let's try it. Let's try to say ham or bacon. That looks like ham and egg. Okay, we're going in there. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm. 
This is good. What questions am I missing? Where are they located? Mm, Kali. Good question. Good question. This is why, because I'll just do it, and she she said, "Hey, you gotta tell them some stuff." Though Kali's is on twenty third, just past Lark, so between Dove and Trenton on twenty third, right there. Good. What did you spend? Hmm. This here, eight dollars and one cent. Not bad, you know. Not bad. A lot of people. This will get you two and a half tacos at some of the other places I really like to review usually. So this is, yeah, this is quite a lot for $8.01. And there was a little bit of a line too. But for good reason, I think they have Baba Go on some of these too. Mm. Put a little bit more of this green. So she goes, red, you don't want red and green salsa? I said, put green. She gave me put green. Something to keep in mind. Hmm. The old claw. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, this is good. This is just a good taco. I think with that salsa too. The salsa is not super spicy, but it's very flavorful. And it brings the taco just together. I think this is another A. They're both A's. This is easily. I could eat this every day. Be happy. They're tortillas. Oh my goodness. Austin, San Antonio, you guys all know about these tortillas, man. I think you guys get them out of bags, like pre-made. Don't do that. Get someone to make your tortillas. Start a tortilla factory and then make tacos out of them. That's how you do it. That's what they do down here. That's what I love. Man, that's good. Hmm. It's like, it's just wonderful. It just makes me feel safe, makes me feel happy. Our puppy's over there. She she came in and she got this like 3D smelling, so she smelled everything and then she assesses what it is and then she goes and tries to look as cute as possible. <laughs> Cause she knows that's how you can get some. I think the last one is bacon, but I'm not sure if we got it or not. Oh no, potato and egg. Okay. Potato and egg. Here we go. Now that, look at that. That's good. The potatoes look soft. They look soft. The eggs don't look overcooked. Put a little salsita on it. Just a little itty bitty bit. You know? And so you can see why my review is so good. That other review, you know, because, man, I just tasted this stuff and I start feeling good. Let's start. Mm. That's good for a prefabricated sakwa. That's good. Mm. And that was a category I hadn't thought of. You know, there's not too many places that can make a prefabricated taco and still get an A review from me, you know? And that's what I really like about this place is that you go in, you know what you're getting, it's quick. They got it down, they got the panduce. I want to try the fruit there one day. I think they have a little fruit bar. And I'm open to that too. And of course the thing about college too is it's also a bakery. That's where these conchas come in. And so I'm just gonna have a little one. I think this one bite's gonna be like 10 points. So oh that's good. That's good. Mm-hmm. I saw this all the day, man. You for the so Kali's 23rd. Eight dollars, one cent, prefabricated in and out. There was a line around the corner. I was maybe there 10, 12 minutes. You know, this is after a drive home too, another 10, 12 minutes, so. Good stuff. The Quache Mike here with another taco review for Kali's. And uh, like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks.
What's up everybody? I have decided to do a post consumption update and I I think I forgot to mention just how how really good their tortillas are. Um I was talking about it with my producer over here when we were trying them and it's just like a for the cost and how like there's this buttery flavor that comes through. You take a bite and about two seconds later it like hits you and on the concha too. You know, I don't know if it comes through on the camera, but it's kind of yellow, yellowish. But man, just that buttery flavor. It's something to try, you know, so check it out. That's all I got. Thanks. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm going to tell you guys about the best taco review ever in the world. You know, one morning I woke up hungry, late. I was wearing my shirt, the first shirt that I ever wore when doing the video. And I went for it and I came here. I came here to Gali's and I had one of those small little cameras. That's how I used to do it. I would mount it on my steering wheel, you know, back when I had the, when I was driving the forerunner for videos and eating in the car, eating in the forerunner, I, I would just put the camera right on the steering wheel and go for it, you know? And, uh, you know, something happened. That camera didn't record the audio and I was just funny and clever that day. It was like, uh, man. I was just on point, you know, and I was so excited to put that video out. Then I got to the house and started editing the video. And guess what? Guess what? No audio. That was the best taco review in the world. You know, so this isn't going to be the best taco review in the world. This is going to be like that song, the Tenacious D song, a tribute to it. But uh, we'll try to see how they do in a minute.